Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jamie and this is Taylor Eternal. And today I am doing another video as a part of my um, pregnancy uh, series. So this video, as you probably realized by the title, is going to be about uh, four weeks. So I am currently as of today, today starts my fifth week of pregnancy. So I kind of just wanted to talk about my symptoms, what I was experiencing, things like that during my four weeks of pregnancy. So jumping right into it, um, in that fatigue kicked in um, pretty much a little bit more also into the fourth week for me as well. Um, I was fighting fatigue prior to, I always get a little bit tired, uh, feel a little lethargic um, before AF comes. But this week, the fourth week, I'd probably say the tail end of it, I kind of just wanted to be in bed. In the bed, you know, I've kind of been lounging, whether it's on the sofa or just, you know, watching TV in the bed instead of coming downstairs to watch TV or anything like that. Um, so it just kind of feeling a little bit more, um, you know, tired, just tired, you know. Just wanting to just sit down. Even if it wasn't, I wasn't sleeping, I just wanted to lay down. You know, and if I didn't want to lay down, I just wanted to sit down. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. If that was more of uh, me being tired or just me being like, whatever. You know, I just, I don't care right now because I'm tired. I don't care right now because, you know, the weather case may be. And I just thought about other symptoms. I just thought about something else. And you guys, I actually wrote them down in my book and I'm not even using my notes. I'm kind of going off of memory, but I got sick. I got sick. I really want to say that was more like the third week than the fourth week. That's probably why I'm not, I didn't mention it. But the third week I got a cold and it felt more like the flu. Like I had fever, uh, my throat. I'm still having a little bit of a cough. Um, so that's kind of gone on over into the third week and the fourth week. Uh, my throat. It's still a little itchy, so if I were to inhale, breathe in, you know, the back of my throat will get, be a little bit itchy, and <clears throat> I have to clear my throat for a cough. So, um, I do remember having that in my previous pregnancies as well. Not all of them, but at least in one or two, I got cold symptoms. I felt like I was getting sick, kind of run down, and again, that's just a matter of the immune system adjusting and, you know, your body being invaded by all of them, so... Um, I did have, uh, I want to say it was the flu because I had a pretty bad fever. So I was also taking Tylenol to, you know, reduce the fever. I was taking some cold medicines that that's obviously safe for pregnancy, of course, but, um, I feel, I feel okay now. I still have a little bit of the, you know, my throat being irritated, but other than that, I'm okay. So I wanted to include fatigue really kick in, uh, week four for me. Um, to the point where I just wanted to sit down, lay down, sleep in late, whatever the case was. It's what I needed and it's what I did. Laundry, I'll get to it, chores, it'll get done. But right now, I'm resting. <laughs> I, I got to say the, the cramping, you know, the cramping is probably the number one thing that I would mention in this video, okay? Um, it's all part of the implantation pro pro um, pr process, but I got to tell you, I read like, everything on you know the implantation and things like that and they tell you that it should be mild it shouldn't be intense it shouldn't be painful um let me tell you lies <laughs> okay all lies 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 let me bust the bubble on this whole theory that implantation cramping is not painful. I have had absolutely no bleeding, no spotting, anything like that. Just very, very, very intense cramps. That's it. You know, and it's been right in the uterus area there. So, um, <laughs> okay. If you don't know, let me just, let me just pause right here and say, this is baby number eight for me yes this would be baby number eight for me meaning this is my also my eighth pregnancy do i remember having these intense cramps with my other pregnancies yes 
I do remember having really bad cramps with my last pregnancy, baby number seven, which was three years ago. Uh, my son is three years old. And I remember having cramps so bad that I literally called my OB and told them, hey, look, these cramps is really starting to freak me out. They're worrying me. Um, is everything okay? I just want to come in just to make sure everything is okay. And he was looking at that. He's like, you know what? It's perfectly normal. As long as you don't see any bleeding or any clots or anything like that, you're good. That I remember with my last pregnancy. This pregnancy, again, I, I haven't bothered my OB or my doctor about it because I am a little bit used to it. So I kind of been just been watching everything and monitoring everything. So far, you guys, I feel really good. I really do. I feel really good. I have some queasiness, some na nausea. I probably say week three, which I didn't go back and make a three week video because I don't know, maybe I will. I don't know, maybe I will. But week three, I would say I was really dizzy, really lightheaded, and really dizzy. Uh, week four was just a little bit more of the lightheadedness and the dizziness carrying on from week three. Uh, week four definitely introduced more intense cramps. I've had those ever since I, before I got my possible pregnancy test. I was, um, and, it, and it feels like, you know what, like the cramping feels like AF is about to start, literally. Like Aunt Flo is right around the corner. Like, I mean, she comes right now. You know what I mean? It was that, that kind of intense cramping to the point where I had to be popping Tylenol. Like, every four hours in order for me to get things done during my day okay well i say it disrupted my day yes because all i really wanted to do was get in the bed with a heating pad on a blanket and watch me some like i'll say netflix because it used to be lifetime movies but i think i'm aging myself right now <laughs> but um, <laughs> we won't do that so i'm gonna say i just wanted to binge on some Netflix or some crime movies, and that was my happy place. I didn't want to move. I was kind of curled up in a fetal position, you know, not wanting to move. And if I did move, you guys, I would say that the cramps started here, and they also radiated down my legs. I felt them in my back. You know, they were kind of just everywhere. I also found taking hot baths to relieve the cramping, and I got in my hot tub. You know, I had to get in the hot tub, like, almost every other day. Uh, just to get some comfort because I didn't want to keep taking the Tylenol. Although Tylenol is safe, I didn't necessarily want to keep, keep taking it. And I'm also one of those people that I don't necessarily um, medicate my sim pregnancy symptoms because to me, as long as I'm feeling the symptoms, you know, uh, it lets me know that my pregnancy is still progressing. So uh, the nausea, I try not to take, take anything for it. Uh, the lightheadedness, I try not to take anything for it. I'll just rest, sometimes resting and taking a nap or just nibbling on something to eat kind of, you know, makes the symptoms subside. So um, also for my four weeks, I'd say, you know, my breasts were very tender. I don't have sore nipples or anything right now. Just really tender breasts as if I had, was bench pressing or something like that. Like I've been working out. They're just tender right around the tissue area, but I don't have any sore nipples, which is actually pretty shocking because with all of my pregnancy, that was a dead ringer for me. Like, okay, that's the only symptom I would generally get was, you know, yeah. So <laughs> I don't have that this time. Um, so also I would probably say I had some headaches, you know, not really bad headaches, but something I could easily take Tylenol with and the headache was gone. Uh, so Tylenol has kind of been my friend right now, along with my prenatal vitamins, and I'm taking folic acid. So, uh, but other than that, you guys, I feel great. I feel really, really good. Um, I have lost four pounds, um, <laughs> but I'm also watching what I'm eating now, too. So that's that's probably more along the sides of me watching what I'm eating and not necessarily pregnant related, but I thought I'd throw it out there, thought I'd throw it out there. But anyway, other than that, I that's all. That's all that I have. Um, very bad cramps, a um, little bit of headache here and there, some light nausea, light queasiness, some dizziness, and that's all I experienced during my first four weeks. So um, I hope you guys have liked this video. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed the content and not so much rambling, but I hope that I have answered some questions. If you're new here and you are just starting your pregnancy journey, 
Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the video. Thanks for clicking on the video. Again, my name is Janie. I am a soon-to-be mother of eight, okay? This is my eighth pregnancy, and I will be doing posts every week. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me. Follow me on this journey, baby number eight. I will be doing a lot of vlogs about the process, the, the pregnancy, and I am definitely hoping to vlog the birth and all of that. So uh, until then, you guys, I will see you next week for week five of this pregnancy. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.